The WISIS high-level talks have come to a successful conclusion, but the real heart of the event, the forum, continues. And this is what WISIS is all about. International organisations, civil society and private sector coming together to network, exchange ideas and influence the future of the process. It was uh, interesting to note that uh, uh, you know, we had uh, extremely good participation from uh, civil society, from the private sector and uh, they had an equal voice in, uh, in, in the preparations of the WISIS outcome documents. This process uh, is uh, important because we came uh, since the first physical meeting, so we made uh, the five physical meetings to give our ideas, ideas, our input. ITU give common platform uh, to all stakeholders to participate in this and uh, uh, us as a civil society give this opportunity. Uh, we uh, very actively participating from the beginning of this uh, all processes uh, from the first meetings even online we did our contribution and we also uh, propose uh, in action line one, two, six uh, to include a woman uh, component in, in these activities. I think WISIS is doing a good job of bringing the industry in. You can see that growing. I've been to a number of different WISIS. Um, Craig Barrett, as CEO, Chairman, was at the first one in 2005, and we've been coming back to those since. And we come back to them because I think it's a benefit to industry and it's a benefit to the people we contact. Well, the government agencies come to WISIS there is well over 50 ministers here. I think the numbers may be higher than that. And these are the people that run the IT ministries. And I think of a lot of it is the government's deciding what they want to do, and then the industry works with them on the how you can reach more people and the benefits to those people. And sometimes the government programs, I think it's a perfect partnership, but it has to happen as a partnership. To be here, uh, give us a chance to be with international company, with international people. This is a great experience. As you know, as a private sector, we are funding by ourselves. Nobody is paying for our uh, trip to be here. So uh, we have seen that uh, this meeting and contacting with international people is very useful for us. Because for the last two, three years, we have used these contacted, and even some of them, they have come to our country and they have shared experiences and they give us consultancy. Connor, it's uh, definitely an effective process. One of our um, aims is to bring together all the parties. IFIP has been instrumental in organizing events where governmental people, practitioners, researchers sit together and bring in all the different perspectives, and that has proven to be very efficient and successful. Uh, I think that probably John Davis said it best when he said, you know, the way that we are going to solve most of these problems is through private-public partnerships. And certainly that's what COP has embraced. And I believe that the ITU and WISIS process has as well. And so I think that we need to do much more of that, um, and especially, of course, as it relates to children. We feel we have something to uh, sort of offer into the into the WISIS forum in terms of international domain names, in terms of the coordination of the dom domain name system. But we also gain a lot of understanding of uh, what countries are doing in terms of their development in the domain name sector, in broadband in general, in the internet. And that, that helps us as an organisation understand what's going on. We've seen a lot of enthusiasm and goodwill from all the participants so far, but what happens next? Tomorrow we'll be looking ahead to 2015, a crucial year for WISIS.